So we're here at Hamill's House of Oddities, and we were just drawn in by the beautiful art we saw everywhere. So this is all part of Hamill's House of Oddities, which is a 5e campaign uh, that we developed in a new setting called the Woven Worlds of Aloria. And this is these are all assets, including the maps, uh, the art, the magnetic tokens, everything. It's a it's it's meant to be a premium product that we had hoped that would not go into a closet after being used, whether you hang the maps on a wall, reuse the assets, the tokens, the art. We've got a partner of ours that's able to print these directly on magnets. They take a liquid epoxy that gets vacuumed down into what's called a dome. And then we combine the, all of the maps with a, what's called a magnetic receptive material underneath there. And so these stick, and it gives it a really interesting, this is a production map. It's one of the requirements we had is that we did not want it to have memory. So it almost has a fabric-like feel that will always go flat. Yeah. And the printing itself has a textured relief and it's got a finish on it to protect it. And then we have 160 different art assets that you use as part of what we call the tabletop theater experience. And that is over here where you, you as what we call the, the game master, the storyteller. The storyteller will take, just like when you're in the theater, a backdrop, put it in, different props for the stage and those correspond with your tokens. The tokens are sized appropriately between standard one inch all the way up to gargantuan. And then you have the corresponding assets to use. It makes for a much more engaging storytelling experience and as a player, it's just you're that much more in it. This is how we've been playing for years and here's the kicker. All of this art is done by one artist, John's daughter. So it's all done in house. It's, yeah, it's beautiful work. It's I mean, a labor of love. Me in right away when I saw it. Like, wow, Thank I you. It's, see that. Let's see. There's one region map, one town map, ten different encounter maps. So this encounter map is the Old Woman Forest. So if you're adventuring in the Old Woman Forest area, you would use the Old Woman Forest encounter map. If you're adventuring in the foothills, you're going to use the foothills encounter map, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you have 160 art pieces, unique art pieces, to be used for the storytelling in the, in the tabletop theater experience. 146 of these magnetic tokens to correspond with that. Um, three wooden stands to help with the uh, the props and holding those up in the storyteller, or excuse me, in the tabletop theater experience. So there's a, it's very comprehensive. It's a premium product. We've had some people that are buying it to use in Shadow Dark or OSE because the the, the design aesthetic meet, you know matches that. This is the first book of three. So this is, it's a trilogy. And we've done it in a storyteller style, six by nine format. And it's got a really intimate feel. The layout is very thoughtful. A lot of thought and gorgeous. And uh, it's a diff, and, you know, it's different. And, but it's much more intimate as the storyteller. You know, that's their job behind the screen, if you will, delivering that and making that, again, part of that integrated system. John, the author, He's the brainchild behind all of this. I'm just fortunate enough to be able to play with him for the last 27 years. <laughs> uh, it only took 27 years to make this. <laughs> well, actually, it's been in development for about five. We funded the Kickstarter in uh, last month, so we're in pre-order phase right now. The pre-orders, we're accepting pre-orders through the end of March, and then we'll be shutting that down for production. We'll be fulfilling digital products in April, and then all of the physical products will be being will be fulfilling in November of 2024.